What's done people, welcome back. Here we are with another themed full day of eating. Today, we're gonna go for protein French toast. I've been eating this meal for about six or seven months now. I remember when I first discovered it, it was like one of the best days of my life. I'd been eating oats for breakfast for years. I still do eat oats for breakfast all the time, but occasionally I will tuck in, chuck in a protein French toast when I was cutting, I ate every meal in the evening because it's very filling, it's enjoyable, and when I'm cutting, I have a sweet tooth, I crave sweeter foods. For today's French toast, we have three sweets, one savoury. So, without waiting any longer, let's get on to the first meal. All that you need is egg whites. I'm going to use about 90 ml. A little bit over, but 120, but we'll be fine. It's just a bit more protein. I'm gonna go for four slices of bread. I'll whack some cinnamon and some sweetener into the mix. I just have a, just throw a bit in, mate. I'm just not very particular about how much sweetener or cinnamon I put in. I just chuck it in there, see how it goes. As you would. Normal French toast, you get your bread, you dip it in the egg whites, cinnamon and sweetener, you put it on a plate, and now I will go and heat my pan up, and then we will get cooking. The trick is here to put a little bit of water in the PB2, not too much, because if you put too much in, then it will go too watery. So you put some in, then you see it's still a bit too dry. Then you put a little more in, and you just carry on adding little bit by little bit, just so you get it to a nice, not too runny texture. If you like it more runny, add more water, mate. That easy. French toast is starting to come along in the pan now, slowly getting there, so whack the bananas in the microwave. Now to plate up, you want to stack your French toast nice and neatly like a little pyramid mate. Put your dark chocolate in the microwave. Just for 30 seconds, you don't want it too watery, you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan, so you just put it in for 20-30 seconds, see what it's like. If it needs a bit longer, whack it in front of a 20 more. So here we are, banana PB2 Dark chocolate, French toast, mate, that looks unreal. Give it a go for you now. Little test. That's unreal, tastes more like a dessert than a breakfast. Definitely give that one a go. What we'll the calories and macros on screen for you now. It's pretty low calorie as well. It's definitely good to mix up with something like that. Chocolate in my teeth. But, I'm gonna enjoy this. Get to the gym for a chest and back session. I'll show you that. Catch you there. So here we are then, people. This is my heavier chest and back session of the week. So my first few exercises will be in the 6 to 10 rep range. And then the following three will be in the 8 to 12 rep range. And then the lighter day, they will be in the 8 to 12 and 10 to 15 rep range. First of all, I've gone for the Smith Incline Press. And I find that opposed to the barbell, I actually get a better contraction in my chest and it's more honest progression. I don't find that I am moving my body to move the weight. It's a lot easier to get locked in place, I find, with the resistance and help of the machine than it would be to do it with the actual barbell and I find I get a better chest workout. And here for my second exercise, I have a lat pull down. As you can see, I've got some straps on. I actually had a bit of a forearm problem on this day. I usually do weighted pull ups, but I decided that I wasn't going to risk it because I've injured my forearm before. I had a little problem with my wrist, which stopped me lifting for about a month. So just whacked the straps on for a week. Didn't do any too heavy back movements, and it seemed to clear up pretty well. And then for the third exercise, we've got weighted dips here and i think yeah that's a 12 kg and this is 8 to 12 reps but sometimes i will go a bit over on the reps on this one I haven't done 
dips for a long time until this cycle so I'm going to slowly increase the weight over the next few mesocycles and hopefully get up to quite a reasonable weight and that should have some decent effect on my chest progression and I put a full set in here on these low rows, pullovers, whatever you'd like to call them just so you can see like the current intensity I'm working at because this is like the third week of the mesocycle so I'm training like one, two reps in reserve here and I'm just mainly focusing on getting a good contraction throughout I will only use a weight that is good for me to get a good contraction throughout the course of the rep if I feel that I'm losing the contraction or losing some control then I won't really tend to go any heavier than that as you can see that one it was a bit struggle towards the end so I just stopped on that rep now we have some rear delt flies with the chest support I find that I can feel my rear delts a lot more in these than rows I find flies work better than rows for me for feeling the weight I feel like with a row I'd just be mainly feeling it in my traps and biceps maybe that's something to do with my technique but yeah that's the last exercise of the workout just five exercises chest and back session smashed off wow look at my eyes look better so here we are just got back from the gym we're at meal two and now we're going to go for a french toast apple crumble style bake i don't know why that was such a mouthful but for some reason it was so what you're going to need for this meal is egg whites again four slices of bread one apple sweetener cinnamon zero cal spray this is zero just olive oil spray any one will do this is very important that you use this on your baking tray before because if not and it gets too stuck and you have to scrape it off then it's not going to look very good is it but enough of me waffling i'm hungry now after that gym session so cue the cooking montage See if we can get it all out nice and straight for the thumbnail. Oh, fell apart. But you win some, you lose some. That is what it looks like. All I've got to do now is just add a serving of high protein yogurt, vanilla, grove sugar, caramel sauce, just to top it off with. Final product, I want the calories and macros on screen now, off the top of my head I think it's about 500, could be wrong though, but look how enjoyable that looks, a lot better than maybe some of the things that you would usually eat for 500 calories, give it a go, tell me what you think, if you like it, going to eat this, do a bit of work and then catch you at the next meal which is going to be the savoury meal of the day. Here we are then people, meal three of the day and we're going to go for a cheesy garlic bread, French toast with beef mince and chopped tomatoes on the top. So it's going to be like a spaghetti bolognese style thing, but bread instead of the pasta. First of all, get your egg whites, put them in the bowl. Then you want to add garlic and salt into the mix. Mix it in so it is nicely dispersed throughout the liquid so that you get a good mix of garlic and salt on each slice of bread. And then as always, dip the bread in and if all the egg whites don't get soaked up by the bread, pour it onto them on the plate because they will usually take a lot more liquid than first appears. After this, you want to put them in the pan, two to three minutes each side. Then wipe your beef mince on because this should only take about five minutes. Put some garlic salt in there, chopped tomatoes. Then plate up, add 25 to 50 grams of cheese, Put it in the microwave for a few minutes if you like to mow it on. I didn't, but you could give that a go. And my camera good dies when I'm doing the taste test, so I'll just tell you now that they were extremely nice and that I'll catch you at the final meal. Yes then, people. Camera's back online. And now for the final product of the day. This is going to be the dessert style one of the day with Halo Top 
syrup and some popcorn on top. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get our egg whites and then we're going to add some protein in with the egg whites. This is a chocolate peanut butter but you can go for whatever you like. And only half a scoop really, it's just more for flavour than anything. And then we'll get a few teaspoons sweetener, add that into the mix. Stir it in thoroughly, like you would with your cinnamon usually, just so it's not all at the top and so it's nice and mixed in throughout all the mixture. And then dip your bread into the mix so it's nicely coated. See that? It looks brown, it's all chocolatey. That's what we're going for with this being a dessert one. And the halo top is a cooking cream, so it's going to look a chocolate cooking cream dessert style French toast. As always, soak your bread as thoroughly as you can because you want to get all that protein and egg whites in it. Because the more you get in, the fluffier it's going to get. Now, you want to whack it in the pan. So I'll catch you over at the other side of the kitchen. Then, after about two minutes has passed, flip it. Probably two or three minutes on the other side, and then should be done. Now we'll go for toppings, adding some blueberries. You can't not put the micronutrients in, even if it is a dessert. And they do make a nice sweet taste alongside the chocolate. And the halo top, of course, this starts to melt on the bread as well, which makes a huge difference. You all know how good melted ice cream starts to taste. A bit of popcorn as well for the texture. Different textures in foods makes a huge difference, I find. And then finally, just a bit of syrup to give it a different texture again. Mixed in textures all the time in here. And then look at that, mate. It looks incredible. This was probably my favourite one of the day. You should definitely give this one a try, people. Now then, on to the taste test. Get a bit of the ice cream. French toast, blueberry syrup and popcorn. All on one fork. What's, oh, I've got a spoon. Actually, here we go. Mmm. You can really taste the chocolate protein. The popcorn just gives it a different different texture and the blueberries are a nice sweetness it, it, it just works like this is the first time i tried this and it works really well so give this one a try at home let me know if you like it but as always thanks for watching the calories and macros for the day will be on screen here and if you haven't got me on instagram yet keep, go give me a follow because i've got loads of workout tips on there as well it'll be below and thanks for watching see you on the next one Peace out, people.